Hi, my name is Deepti. Today I am meeting you as Council General Katina Hadda. Let's go and talk to CD Hadda. Hi, ma'am. Hello, Deepti. How are you? I'm Kathy. I'm fine. It's so nice to meet you. Would you like to come inside? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's come inside and have a conversation. Hi, CG. Hello, Dita. How are you? I'm fine. Nice. It is very really nice to meet you. It's very nice meeting you, too. What, what did you want to run be when you were my age? I wanted to be a veterinarian, an animal doctor, because I loved cats and dogs, and I thought it would be really great to be a doctor who could help them when they were sick. Okay. Then when I got older, I realized that other countries were extremely interesting to me and I loved meeting people from other countries and learning about them and that's why I decided to become a diplomat. Okay. What was your favorite subject at school when you were a young girl? Well, I loved to read. I actually would read one or two books every single day. They were usually story books, but I also loved history. I loved reading ancient history. Um, and I also loved to do any kind of art project. How did you become a diplomat? Well, first I went to school and I learned a lot of things about the world, about history, about geography, and then I took a special test that the United States government gives to people who want to be diplomats. Okay. And where do you travel and leave? Well, I've been very lucky. I've gone to the most incredible, interesting places. I started off in China. I also was in Taiwan. I lived in London in the United Kingdom. I lived in New Zealand. I lived in Kabul in Afghanistan. Then I lived in Italy. And now I'm really, really lucky because I'm living in Hyderabad, India. Can you tell me what U.S. Consul General does? Yes, I can. You go to school, right? Yes. Do you have a principal or a headmistress, someone who's in charge of the whole school? Well, I'm in charge of a building that houses the U.S. consulate. And what we do at the consulate is we help Indians and Americans do things together. So we help travelers who want to go to the United States to do business, to study in the United States, or just to be tourists. And we help American businesses who come to India who want to invest. There are really a lot of different ways we help understanding grow between India and the United States. How many languages do you speak? Well, I speak English, and then uh, probably my best languages after that are Mandarin, Chinese, and Italian. Could you please teach me something in Chinese or Italian? Of course. Is there anything you'd like to say? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> I will teach you how to say, how are you doing in Italian? Come va? Come va. That's perfect. There are lots of problems of facing kids in many countries. How can you young, young Indian girl like me help other kids? Well, uh, I think there are many ways to do that. Let me tell you what we do in the United States. When I was your age, I sold biscuits, that's what we call cookies, to raise money for charities in the United States. I was what they call a Girl Scout, and that's what we did. And it's very common in the United States for children to organize activities like that or sell things to raise money to help other children. How do you like Hyderabad and what's your favorite food? I love Hyderabad and of course my favorite food has to be biryani. What's your favorite food? Same thing. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, what advice would you give to a girl of my age? Well, 
I think that whatever you want to do in life, you should think that you can do it. And you should go to school and work hard and you will be able to do whatever you want to do. It's been lovely talking to you, C.G. Hada. Thank you so much. Deepthi, it's been lovely talking to you too. Now remember when I told you how important books are and you should go to school and read and learn a lot? I would like to give you something that's going to help you learn more about my country and about the world. So this is a hundred people who changed the world and I hope you enjoy reading about them. And then this is one of my favorite books. This is America the Beautiful and it has all sorts of wonderful pictures of all the great things there are to see in the United States. So I hope that someday you'll travel there and you can see these things. But meanwhile, here's the book. Thank you. Thank you very, very much.